An American dilemma written by a Swedish socialist provided a basic rationale for the conversion of our free republic into an equalitarian democracy. Myrdal contends that the American Declaration of Independence, 1776, proclaimed the ideal of an equalitarian democracy because it contains the phrase, all men are created equal. Eleven years later, the Constitution created not a democracy founded on the ideal of equality, but a republic founded on the ideal of liberty. This is why Myrdal says the Constitutional Convention was nearly a plot against the common people. But he and those who parrot his ideas are either ignorant or dishonest. The Constitution was ordained specifically to safeguard the principles of liberty proclaimed by the Declaration of Independence. The Declaration's phrase, all men are created equal, means that men are equal before the law and before the Creator, regardless of their inequality in human society. The Declaration says that men are endowed with unalienable rights and that the purpose of government is to secure these rights. The unalienable rights of man enumerated in the Declaration of Independence do not include equality, but they do include liberty, along with life and pursuit of happiness. Equality of all men in the eyes of God and before the law is a condition essential to freedom, but no other kind of equality is possible. Government efforts to achieve material equality will produce crushing tyranny, but will not make people equal. The writers of the Constitution were anxious to safeguard liberty against dictatorship, monarchy they called it, but their chief anxiety was to protect the country against democracy. Edmund Randolph, delegate to the Constitutional Convention from Virginia, said the general object of the convention was to provide a cure for the follies and fury of democracy. Elbridge Gerry and Roger Sherman, delegates from Massachusetts and Connecticut, urged the Constitutional Convention to create a system to eliminate the evils that flow from the excess of democracy. Alexander Hamilton, delegate from New York, said, We are now forming a Republican government. Real liberty is not found in democracy. If we incline too much to democracy, we shall soon shoot into a monarchy. John Adams, one of the giants of the American Revolutionary period, said, Democracy will envy all, contend with all, endeavor to pull down all. And when by chance it happens to get the upper hand for a short time, democracy will be revengeful, bloody, and cruel. Because the war costs us hundreds of millions of dollars a day. Because there never were any weapons of mass destruction. Because over 4,200 Americans have lost their lives. And over 100,000 have been wounded. Because hundreds of thousands of Iraqis have been killed. And with every unjust death, new insurgents are born. Because occupying Iraq doesn't make us any safer at home. Iraq Veterans Against the War is counting on you. End the war now. Four and a half thousand fixed speed cameras in Britain now. And by the end of the year, there could be almost as many mobile speed traps. They're the sort which are generally hidden in the back of enforcement vans. Inside Out has discovered extraordinary evidence of operational problems. Problems which could mean thousands of motorists have been prosecuted in error. There are several types of laser guns used in Britain, but they all work on the same principle. Now, the gun works by sending out a beam of infrared light. Now, ideally, this should be targeted at the number plate of a car because number plates have a special reflective coating which bounces the beam straight back into the machine. As the car moves, this device quickly takes a series of distance readings and from those works out the speed of the vehicle. Dr. Michael Clark is an expert in laser technology. He believes the guns can give false readings. Here, the car he's aiming at is 34 feet away, but the gun is registering 89 feet. Why? Because the laser beam is being reflected. What's actually happening is the device is sending out a laser beam, which is hitting the wing mirror on the car, and then it is being uh, reflected onto the sign. That ice sign That over ice there. sign over there. Right. It's then coming back off the ice sign, back onto the wing mirror again, and back into the receiver. Dr. Clark believes this reflection effect could lead to full speed readings from moving vehicles. And that's not all. A gun works out speed by measuring the changing distance between itself and a vehicle. So if the gun is accidentally moved while taking a reading and the beam slips along the side of a car, this can affect the results too. I have here 
again another device this time and if I just simply point it at the vehicle straight away we have a four mile an hour speed reading. So uh, how can you be getting a speed reading from a vehicle that's clearly not moving? This instrument doesn't know if it's moving so it started off measuring a little bit further away down the vehicle now it's a bit closer so it thinks there's a speed reading. Uh, it's, it's as simple as that. Now of course this is, is very relevant if a policeman is pointing it at a vehicle going by and he moves it across then he will get an increased or indeed a reduced speed reading and this is called known as slip factor. And does that happen in real life? Is that how police use these Well I, I think it would be very difficult to hold uh, one of these guns on a vehicle that is stationary because the car itself is moving. They have to hold it very very closely on the same point on the vehicle otherwise they will get an erroneous speed reading. Dr. Clark says all laser speed guns are susceptible to slip effect. So I tried out one of the latest models of the most commonly used gun in Britain, the LTI 2020, on a wall. 58 miles an hour. 58 miles an hour. It's that easy. <laughs> From a wall. From a wall. That's not moving. It's not moving. It's Amazing. It's not moving. <laughs> So, in theory, if an operator moves the gun along the side of a car while taking a reading, this could add the length of the car to the distance travelled. And we calculated this could add up to 30 miles an hour to the speed recorded. But the UK manufacturer of the LTI 2020 rejects the possibility of getting misleading readings from moving vehicles. You accept that you can get a speed reading off a stationary vehicle, don't you? Oh, yes very low speed reading against a small amount of panning. But what you're saying is when that vehicle is moving, mm -hmm. the laser gun does what? It traps out any panning errors. Frank Garrett says when used on moving vehicles, the guns can detect slip effect and will display an error message rather than a false speed. We didn't get an error reading. We got a reading of four miles an hour. Yes, you would against a stationary target. Potentially you would. couldn't happen on a moving that's, target. That's exactly right. But a reading of maybe an extra two miles an hour could happen on a moving target. I think that's highly unlikely. No more than one mile an hour, if at all, but in any event, two miles an hour. In your user manual, you do acknowledge the possibility of a slip effect. You say that the equipment is designed to um, have the least chance of a slip effect. Yes. So you are acknowledging the possibility. You have to understand that that particular manual is written for training purposes. And it's so it's wrong? Uh, it no, it's not wrong. Design? No, it's not wrong. It's that particular phraseology is designed to be a discussion point in the training of operators and indeed instructors. This is rarely seen video filmed by South Wales Police and obtained by Inside Out. It's from a camera which is linked up to the laser gun. Recordings like this are often used as evidence in speeding cases. We showed the tape to Dr. Clark. I've noticed on this video some of the speed readings have um, minus signs in front of them. What does that mean? If there is a minus sign in, in front of it, like we had there. just like we had there, right. that means the target has been measured as going away. But it's not going away. It's coming well, in this case it. it wasn't. And that is typical of the errors that you'll get. Here we have negative speeds for vehicles coming towards us. It's a nonsense. So what does this part of the video show? This part shows the device measuring vehicles coming towards us yet amazingly a lot of them have zero miles an hour <laughs> how can that be the real point of all of these is that the data being presented is incorrect there's no doubt in my mind that in overall terms the officer did not set up the video element as well as he might have done people um, are going to look at that and be yes. absolutely horrified they're going to wonder how many times that kind of thing is happening well, I, w I, I couldn't disagree with you on that. I mean, I think that's probably right.